am Lauren McGowan, and I am the Senior Director of Ending Homelessness and Poverty at United Way of King County. My name is Jenny Walden, and I work at United Way of King County, focused on our direct service programs around hunger and fighting poverty. What we know is over 10% of people in our region are experiencing poverty, and the COVID-19 pandemic is only going to increase those numbers. It includes men and women and children, but the reality is for people of color, they are most likely to be struggling with poverty and who have experienced generational poverty. So when United Way thinks about breaking the cycle of poverty, we really approach it both on increasing opportunities to get more income um, and meet the basic needs today, but also really addressing uh, practices and policies and pathways that can help households build wealth. Too often poverty is the thing that stands in the way of individuals achieving their academic dreams. And at United Way, we're focused on disrupting poverty whether that be in the K-12 system, making sure that students have access to healthy food, or in our college campuses, making sure families have access to income supports and emergency financial grants that will help them persist and complete college. We've heard from so many students and school administrators that the Bridge to Finish services, because they're coordinated and focused on basic needs, have become really critical to supporting students during this time. It helps to make sure that an individual or family can access a living wage job, which it can help them not only meet their basic needs, but be able to contribute to their families, their neighborhoods, and their community. In terms of our work on hunger, um, you know, there's food out there in the system. Um, there's food at grocery stores, but, ha but so many households aren't able to access that food in a reliable and consistent way. And those are households that have maybe experienced food insecurity prior to COVID, or maybe with job losses and other instability, are now finding themselves needing to navigate a whole new network in order to get access to food. At United Way, we're deeply concerned about the disproportional impacts of COVID-19 as well as our historical systems that have caused so many people in our community to experience poverty. I think what concerns me the most is both an appreciation for the way our community has really rallied around the issues that are, that are faced by so many. And my concern there is how do we continue doing this over the long term? And how do we create and sustain these different innovative solutions to just create a whole different landscape of how we serve people, how people gain access to resources that are that is more equitable than it was before.